All right, folks, welcome to a very special flight on a very special airplane, probably the oldest aircraft I've ever flown, almost certainly is, and uh, older than anything I'll ever fly again in the future. This is the DC-3. This thing flew in D-Day. It's 80 years old, and we're going to be flying it out of Vesteros Airport. Let's go check out the DC-3. This DC-3 is called DAISY. It flew as a military aircraft and later for SAS too. This flight is happening as part of the Flight Radar 24 summer party. The team members who were based in and around Stockholm made their way out to Vesteros Airport, about an hour's drive to the west, and got a little introduction to the organization that maintains the plane, checked out the museum they run here, took a couple of sightseeing flights around the area, and then sat down for a dinner nearby. It was a very nice day. Let's get on board this DC-3. The pilots are commercial pilots who do this for the love of it in their spare time. There's even a volunteer flight attendant on hand to give safety instructions and hand out little candies. Okay. As soon as you're in your seat, it's very good idea to have the seat belt fastened. And always when it's safe, uh, seat belt fastened. He will light it up. Just a minute. Uh, there are emergency exits. The door which you entered in, of course. And then one window in the aft on your left hand, two on your right hand. And uh, no smoking, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't smoke. We will take a little tour above Lake Melaren to a city called Eskilstuna, and then up to a beautiful castle around the castle, about 25 minutes. About um, 1,500 feet, 450 meters. So very low, so you can see everything. How many times have you flown on this? Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to fly um, uh, a jet, the Caravel, wow. and uh, DC-7, DC-6, DC-8. Wow. <laughs> Uh, when I was in SAS, they didn't have any DC trees anymore. So this is just a hobby. If you're used to the engine noise from modern props, the sound these things make may come as a shock.
The DC-3 is what's known as a tail dragger. That gives it the characteristic slope in the cabin when it's on the ground, meaning you have to kind of climb up to your seat on boarding. To get up in the air, the pilots need to take off the tail first, so that comes up making the cabin floor more or less level, and then they take off the rest of the plane. It's a unique sensation. Our scenic tour took us down south across Lake Malaren, the big inland lake that stretches all the way from Stockholm and connects to the Baltic Sea. We passed over the city of Eskilstuna, then cruised back up north towards Vesteros, doing a little loop over it before coming back into land. The whole thing lasted about 20 minutes.
And after deplaning on the grass, we could really appreciate the beauty of this machine. Then Daisy headed out for one more circuit. This organization is called Fliegen on de Veteraner. They have a very cool thing going here, and if you're into aviation, I'd recommend you try to stop by here if you ever find yourself in the area. You can also check out their website for info on when they're running flights and how to potentially get yourself on one of them. This summer, they took the aircraft around a bit too. It's not always just out of Westeros. I'll stick a link down in the description. In Westeros for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.